Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Be with him. Now we have to look at some prayers. So that's what we gather this evening. We've got to the prayers of the lifter and to internalize these prayers. Whatever mass and timing we do, is a tremendous plus for the lifter and a payalas for each and every one of us. In a letter that Rav Gershon, so the Zunzang, wrote to the family who never had the double tragedy. He wrote to the Bible, she called me, she asked for a day, and she said, Look, I shall have this third, her raise of Chesed shall end as Ima. She may see from the Chuyas Atsumis, the Zechon and Shmarsi Bail Nabo. So anything that we could pick up and do with Zechon and Shmarsi is a tremendous push for us and for him. I think the appropriate way to describe my brother in law, the friend with Rocha, is Misha Heshkoilus. The Rambam in Pirish and Mishnah says, What's that Misha Heshkoilus? Kinui al Odom Hakoil Hamidis Umailis, the Hachofnis, the Fiminehem. The Humash Omru Heshkoilus is Shahakoboy. A person who has all the different Mailis, Midis, Chochma, and Mashrav is a final graph, who was truly a Misha Heshkoilus. We all know that the Bechira was a tremendous time in Chacham when he was in Ilui. He learned the Chadrusa with Rav Nachman Patsavas for many years. My Shvada, Rabbi Huda Lavenberg, said over by the Shiva an unbelievable story. He said that when he went, he took, Rabbi Huda took Rabbi Huda into the, to the, the sea of Nachman. And Rabbi was speaking with him and learning. And he said a Svara, and Rav Nochem left the room. He came back, and he explained to them why he left. He said to them, "As I put the svar of a kedatim zelens to the Rosh Hashim, with a pinch of levels." It's a nice note that the Rav Nochem would, would go out and live with the The close half of Rav Nochem, who learned with him in Mir, said that he was considered an Eli among the. He had a whole chabur of Eliyim. He was an Eli of the Eliyim. His chaverim said he was a lebedi to Tam Chacham. And when he entered the room, the atmosphere of learning became electrified. Not only did he learn, but he was also a tremendous marvelous story. He had Talmidim, he had Ashpan, many people that he had Ashpan, all different sorts of people he was able to relate to. <coughs> His brilliance was not only in learning, but an understanding human nature as well. He greeted everyone to save upon him the office because he was happy to see them. He cared about people. His interest in people wasn't out of curiosity. It was because he was nice but all chaveri. He really cared. When someone spoke to him, he really listened. People constantly came to him for aids, guidance, adrocha, and he was able to relate to a diverse group of, of people. He was a tremendous Ayyad Hashem Basimcha. He never let anything get him down. It was always Basimcha. This was a Yerusha that he got from his grandfather, Ramay Shashatskis, from Rabbi The Chaim Moshe said on Ramay Shashatskis that it's a shadow by him if you're allowed to have Ramay Shashatskis in the room during the nine days. He said, because when he comes in, he makes it very lovely. So, in the nine days, it might not be such a good thing. In fact, he used to call him Yismach Maisha. They were cousins. The time Maisha was a cousin to the, to the Maisha Chaskis. So he used to be there a lot. His, his keeping of aim was on an unusual level. For decades, he supported his parents and tended to all their needs. Without their awareness, that he paid for everything. They didn't know. They thought it was government programs or other things. But he was paying from his pocket for years and years and years. And he kept giving and giving even though it wasn't, he didn't get the knowledge or anything else. But as soon as he knew that something had to be done, the last couple of years of my in-law's life, 
they needed the help 24-7, which is quite expensive. And Rabbi Chil single-handedly took care of the expenses. The Psorcha Al-Tishal, his dedication and his devotion to his siblings was amazing. My brother, my brother Yehuda said over by the Shiva that he helped him financially with every chasana and with all this farm that he put out. Well, my wife spoke to him on a daily basis. He wanted to know everything I was doing. Not because he was curious, but because he really wanted to know. And if I <coughs> if either of us had, had an issue or something, he always wanted to know what's going on. And I had surgery recently. He kept on calling, what the doctor say when he's going for the next test. What's... My wife said something to me during Shiva that she couldn't have had a better brother than you feel. could we say? One thing, make fair of Shabbos in Yotaloi, and the Nif Dare of Shabbos lunch, just before I call his neighbors. But I saw from Rav Steinman's Rav, that he said on the escort of somebody that was Nif to suddenly. He said that one, he said from Rav Sol Salman, he heard it from somebody who heard it from a Paul Amsterdam who heard it from the Sol Salon. That when somebody dies suddenly, you don't have to learn Musa for three days. For a for Sol to say that, that's a tremendous thing. But three days you don't have to learn Musa. He said, This is the biggest Lima Ham Musa. You see a person could be here one minute and he's gone the next minute. He learned, you understand that the person's only here temporarily. Steinman writes, in Kain Nimsa, Mitzai Echa, Misa Pesayim Nezet Kayim. Definitely is very hard. Mitzai Chaini, though, Rabbi Steinman says, Mitzai Kalim Ad Musa, Hareza Dabu Toivu Hanifter. Shai Yedei Zehu Zoycha Liyas Mitzai Kes Harabim, Achal Pisha Kvar Enechai. Okay, Zoycha Liyas Mitzai Kes Harabim, Achal Pisha Kvar Enechai. A person doesn't really get an opportunity to be Mazaka Harabim after his 120. But somebody that dies of Misa Pesayimus, or all of Tira, is very painful. The Nechama to us is, he was Mr. the bear of Shabbos, which is Simen Yafaloi. And when it's Petira, he was Mazaka Harabim, because people get Yehure Tshuva, and all those Yehure Tshuva go to his credit. In the Shama, we feel having a leader, it's close to everybody getting together and going through the frames of his life and what he did for Benada Mamak and Benada Makabere should be exposed for all of us, should be in the Chama for the family. Ich bin sicher, dass du es selbst hier